It's the perfect storm that's paralyzed California's Employment Development Department. Incredible need coupled with con artists taking advantage. Billions of dollars meant for people unemployed during the pandemic lost to fraud. All this week, I-Team consumer investigator Randy Mack has looked into the weaknesses that created the problem. Tonight, how the payout method posed a security risk and the quick fix that could help get money safely into people's hands who need it. Carolyn, one lawmaker says that she has a very simple solution that would actually eliminate a lot of this fraud, and there are lawyers out there who are actually demanding change happen right now. Amanda Bailey's been living off savings since she lost her job back in April. She let her unemployment benefits accumulate on her EDD debit card. And she was stunned when she recently tried to withdraw some money. The account was totally empty. I couldn't even get $30 out of it. $16,000 gone. My heart dropped automatically. The I-team's been hearing stories like Amanda's for months. Security experts tell us they believe the cards issued by Bank of America are getting hacked because they contain a magnetic stripe instead of a more secure chip. Bank of America told the I-team the cards don't contain chips because the state didn't ask for them. Attorney Brian Danitz says that doesn't matter. Bank of America failed to implement even basic security measures to protect these unemployment benefits. Danitz says the bank has long promised the state the highest level of security and fraud safeguards and multi layers of extensive security, which he says the bank has failed to provide. Danitz filed a lawsuit against Bank of America He's seeking class action status. The catastrophic failure to implement security measures uh, on these cards has led to a, a great deal of suffering. And we intend to wake Bank of America up so that they respond to these victims. Bank of America didn't respond to the I-team's request for comment on the lawsuit. It creates a problem for us trying to help people. Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez has a different solution. Some people love the debit card. We want to keep that as an available option. But I think a majority of folks would really prefer it directly deposited into their bank account. Assemblywoman Gonzalez introduced a bill that would give unemployed workers the option to have their benefits directly deposited to their bank account. She says this would eliminate a lot of fraud. She also points out that California is one of just three states that doesn't allow direct deposit. We all know that it's easier to deal with our own bank in our own bank account if something goes wrong than dealing with a bank that we're not a customer of. And that's what's happening for far too many um, Californians right now. As for Amanda, after the I-team reached out to Bank of America, it returned the missing 16 grand to her account. I started crying. I looked over at my husband and I said, oh my gosh. I got the money back. The Bank of America would not comment on Amanda's situation, but said that if anyone is having any issues with getting their uh, EDD payments, that they should contact the bank immediately. Now, Assemblywoman Gonzalez also says that it's going to take some time to actually push her bill through the legislature, but she says a new law is not what's necessary, that EDD can actually implement direct deposit on its own without a new law being on the books. We contacted EDD and to ask them what they thought about that and whether they would consider doing uh, direct deposit. We have have not received a response from them yet. Reporting live in Chino Hills, I'm Randy Mack for NBC4 News. Yeah, that seems like it would be a simpler way of fixing the problem, Randy. Thank you. And if you missed any of Randy's week-long investigation into unemployment fraud, you can see all of it. Just go to NBCLA.com or the NBCLA app and search EDD.